I take out my dagger and look Araka straight in the eye. Alright then, Araka says grinning. This is it, Barry. An epic duel of the ages in the making. Hero vs. Villain. Banshee vs. Lasethi. The bard will be singing songs of us for thousands of years to come. Let's do this, come on. I'm not going to fix ever anything if I just stand here mopping around. Mopping around. She doesn't, doesn't expect me to be a threat. She's overconfident. Maybe I can use that against her somehow. Maybe if I kill her, everything will come back to normal. Maybe she dies, her spell will be undone and everyone will come back to life. I won't know until I try. I rush towards the banshee. Suddenly I feel like a sharp pain in my stomach. Um, as a rock f uh, flings, flies into me, knocks me off my feet. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too rough? Araka says. I struggle to catch... Uh, catch back my breath i'm not sure how much damage you can take since you, i've never really fought against a weakling like you before please leave him alone rose sh screams while uh, didn't rose die or maybe that i don't remember um while tears keep flowing from her eyes i wouldn't want to kill you right off the bat araka says we should enjoy ourselves to the fullest you know but i'm you know what i'm saying she says and flings another uh, rock right below my chest i can f feel my breath leaving me again R stop rose shouts you're hurting him Huh, Araka says, well I always knew you were a weakling, but never imagined it would, it would be this bad. It's painful to watch really, I think I'm just going to spare you the embarrassment and kill you right now. No, don't do it, uh, Rose cries as loud as she can. Goodbye Barry, Araka says as she waves her hand towards me. I can feel my whole body starting to quickly dry up, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, sh stop, Rose shouts again, and just as the last echoes of a word uh, fade away, everything around you freezes in place. My body is not drying up anymore, Araka isn't moving. Rose's uh, tears are floating in midair. Is this something that normal? No, it's fucking Aiden, isn't it? Uh, you, if I was uh, fucking him, I would fucking smile and just go like, fucking hell, Aiden. Um, Rosa, everything around me freezes in place. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, is this time supposed to feel like it's uh, finally it's moving slower as you experience your final moments? Oh no, I've never died before. All of a sudden, everything begins to move in reverse. As I find myself spectating all of the events that led to my death. I see Araka hitting me with the stones, and then I see ha her kill Hardrick and Kate, and then Darren. I see her killing the Stillwater skeletons, and I see her breaking out of the amulet. Is that what they call one's life flashing before their eyes? Wow, this is actually pretty entertaining. I never knew that dying could be this fun. Uh, hey, look, that's Flower Flighting the Skeletal Dragon. How the hell am I seeing this? Wasn't it supposed to be in the illusion while I was while, while all this was happening? Now the uh, craters are all disappearing one by one. And, oh, is this time magic? Did fucking Kate do it? She, she was a time mage, wasn't it? You're back at the moment where the two mages ambushed us. The string of events unraveling, uh, unraveling before my, uh, my eyes now comes to a halt. For a few seconds, I find myself in a frozen state yet again at the exact moment that we'd been ambushed by the two mages. Then all of a sudden, time starts moving and everyone, everyone is looking around themselves with a very expu uh, confused expression in their, on their face. Wait a minute, could this be possible? Was it not my just my imagination? Are we actually telling me that I just witnessed time reversing itself and that everyone still remembers what happened? I don't get a lot of time to think about what happens because my um, suspicion suddenly gets confirmed by an enraged Araka. Time Weaver? Araka shouts from an ambulance. Are you kidding me right now? It was Rose of all people? You bastard knew this, didn't you? You all set me up. You knew this would happen and you let me escape on purpose so you could laugh at me, uh, didn't you? Well, you you know what? I'm done being nice. Next time I get out, I'm going to rip every single bone from your bodies and make your families watch. You're going to beg me to give you an easy death I gave you today. Go, do you hear me? I'm I'm going to make your lives hell. Stop grinning at me, you stupid low-light wolf. That's enough, Araka. I says I'm not sure what exactly happened after you escaped from the amulet but I think I can get a general idea from what you just said you lost we won deal with it if I hear any more of your whining I'm going to close this amulet never open it again do you understand Arka doesn't say anything and but but I don't need to see her face to know that she must be fuming right now. I'm alive? The mage in the green robe says. But how? It was the wench, Rose says as she points towards Rose. I saw it all happen before my, I saw it all happen before my eyes. She reversed time. Do you know what this means? Do you know what it could mean if any of our gods could get a hold of this kind of power? Before the green ro robed mage gets to uh, answer the question, a cone of ice flies through his head. He dies instantly. Your friend really shouldn't have told us that he cancelled all his protections well two hours ago. Kate tells the necromancer. That's just beginning to uh, that's just begging to be killed over and over i don't care about the sad excuse for a mage anymore uh, zach says what i care about uh, more than anything now is the woman you're traveling with hand her over uh, peacefully and i will make your death swift it was a tough it is a tough decision to make harrick says with a grin but i'm afraid we're going to have to turn down your generous offer fucking hell so rose dies when we decide not to fight fucking hell 
All right. So be it then. Zack says, and he starts summoning his still water skeletons again. Oh no, you don't. Hardrick says, and he rushes towards the necromancer in order to kill him before he completes the spell. But one of the skeletons, who had only gotten the upper half of its body out of the ground, casts a powerful wind spell, which sends the dwarf flying back towards us. Uh, Rose, get to safety, Darren says, and the necromancer and his skeletons may not be able to harm you due to uh, the tournament due to the tournament spell. Right, get to safety, the necromancer and his skeletons may not. Yeah, 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 that probably. So why did he say get to safety then? I mean, okay. Oh, but but the same can't be said for us. If you stay close to us, you'll get risk getting caught in the crossfire. Right, right, right. Because his spell may not be able to kill her, but uh, we have that like special. Uh, the restriction from us have been lifted due to uh, Aiden, and that's why it's preferable if she does not stay too close. Uh, okay, Rose says, and as she heads towards the opposite end of the market square, one, uh, once the skeletons have fully surfaced, two of them start attacking us simultaneously with a flurry of fire and water spells, while another one creates a magic barrier around him and all the other still waters. Uh, Darren uses shield to create a magic barrier of its own around all of us, but it looks like he won't be able to hold it for much longer if the still waters keep attacking at this rate. If anyone has any idea on how we can get out of this alive, now would be a good time uh, to let us know, Darren says. As the two newly formed walls of rock are closing in on his barrier, trying to break through it by uh, using brute force. Uh, we can't fight them head on, Iluna says. We need to focus on figuring out their weakness. Uh, weaknesses. They may be still waters, but they're still only skeletons. If we examine them carefully, we're bound to discover a thing or two that we can use to our advantage. Does anyone here know like sonic spells or something? That one guy did it with his uh, little sonic barrier attack. He did. But I'm not trying to rush you or anything, Darren says. But I can, doubt I can hold this barrier for another minute. Realistically, it'll probably break, break a lot sooner than that. So yeah, if you're uh, planning to look for weak spots, you better do it quick. Luna is right. Even if they are still waters, their frail undead bodies are bound to leave them with a few uh, exploitable weaknesses as Azarius has shown us that this Azarius has shown us this much right Azarius was the guy with the sonic attack even though the necromancers have uh, learned from his past mistakes and shielded them against sonic attacks there still should be something we could take advantage of not to mention that the necromancer spell can only last five minutes it's limited to one day one use per day so barring any more unexpected time reversal we should be clear if we manage to hold out for the entire duration of the spell so it's five minutes all right once a day as I examine the skeletons carefully, I notice something peculiar about them. Uh, even though their auras feel similar to that of Aiden, their magical energy feels as if it were leaking out of their bodies at a very fast rate. If I were to venture a guess as to why this is happening, I would say it's most likely because the new bodies cannot keep up with the tremendous amount of energy that they have at their disposal. I don't even know why they have energy at this point. I suppose their bones should be storing some. I mean, in some cultivation manuals, you will see that uh, strong cultivators when they die their bones do actually hold like charge i suppose you could say uh, even after the death so there are usually it's more of the sense of like their bones are really hard and you can use their bones for like making weapons or some stuff but um, in this case it's le more less of that and more of just they ha are like a battery or something uh, but whatever. I'm honestly surprised that my stat device isn't reacting to any of this. I would have expected to be beeping like crazy by now. I take out my stat boost to take a look at it and I found out to my surprise that even though I don't have any new points to spend, there's a flashing message in the uh, corner of the screen saying emergency mode available. Tap here to activate. Emergency mode? Is there something that uh, can only be activated when the device gets ac uh, access to a great amount of energy? If so, then this is... Then is this what Aiden did to power up my device before uh, after he pumped it with energy before my fight with the dragon? But that in that situation, Aiden put his own energy into the fucking device. He didn't. Um, how should I put this? He did not like uh, in this situation. It's very different because uh, he pumped the energy in. Now the device has to suck the energy by itself. And while there is a lot of energy available, it will be difficult to, for the device to absorb it at a very fast pace. Considering we have seen that the device takes slowly slow steps to do all that i don't know why uh, points have not been granted but we'll say whatever um unfortunately i don't have much time to think uh, think this through i'm going to have to rely on my guts here and my guts say that i should take this chance while i still have it 